Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jason and thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about portable solar panels. Once you start acquiring any type of electronic gadget for camping, it's important to have a way to charge up your battery while you're away from shore power. And there's nothing better than getting free energy from the sun through your solar panel. I wanted to be able to recommend a super compact, efficient folding solar panel to my viewers and Rock Pals offered to me send out one of their highest reviewed solar panels on Amazon for me to show off. This is their 100 watt folding solar panel. Looking closer at the panel, you can see it's very well designed. The case is made of a durable fabric and behind each panel is a backer board to protect it from being damaged. As you unfold it, you can see that there are four individual monocrystalline panels that total up to about 100 watts of power. Just a reminder that monocrystalline are higher quality and more power dense than polycrystalline panels. This Rock Pal solar panel is compatible with many different solar power stations on the market. Included in the zip storage area on the back is a group of DC barrel adapters that allow you to use the included cable with different brands of power stations. The max rated output of this panel is 18 volts at 5.4 amps or about 97 watts. During less than ideal conditions, you will not see the full 97 watt power output. Clouds, haze, and sun orientation all affect the amount of power output you get while using this panel. The solar panel includes three built-in USB ports for charging phones, tablets, or even small portable battery packs on the go. One of these ports is a quick charge port for the devices that accept quick charging. Okay, so for the dimensions of this solar panel, it's about 20 and a half inches wide, 15 inches tall with the handle included, a little over two inches thick with the pocket full of the accessories in the back. So this solar panel is very rigid and durable and it comes in at about 10 and a half pounds. It's much more durable than my other solar panel and it is a little bit heavier for that reason. Okay, so I have everything that came in the box laid out here. We got the owner's manual, a thank you card. We have the MC4 adapters and the barrel plug adapters to attach to any other product on the market. So you can tell the polarity of the connector by looking at the side connected to the solar panel. There is a plus here and a minus here. So that's how you know which wire is the plus and negative. I didn't want to just have to use my barrel adapter every time I wanted to use the solar panel. So I made uh, this adapter that hooks onto the MC4 connectors and it terminates with Anderson power pole. Now I purchased these MC4 pigtails right off of Amazon. They're Renogy branded, they were very affordable. I'll have those in the description of the video below. But you could uh, end with Anderson power pole or you could end with really anything else. SAE works really well for solar. There's a lot of applications that use SAE. I just wanted to show you these options so that you know you're not limited to the 12 volt uh, barrel plugs that come with the solar panel. Your options are endless as long as you buy some sort of pigtail that goes from MC4 over to something else. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how you can make a DIY extension cable for your solar panel. Now what you want to do to build this DIY cable is you want to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and you want to go look at the wire section and find the wire that says landscape cable. And you're going to want the thickest gauge that you can get so you can get the least amount of voltage drop over the cable. So the, what that's going to be is usually 12.2 and that's what this is. This is 12.2 uh, landscape cable. And what I did is I just stripped it and crimped on Anderson power poles on both ends so I can connect Anderson power pole to the solar panel here and I can connect it to my solar charge controller here. Once you get more solar panels, what you can do is you can make adapters like this where you can plug two sources into one so you can get double the output. So that's what I have set up here. I have a couple of these extension cables and a couple of these adapters so I can hook up multiple panels and have them all feed into my solar charge controller and I can get more output with uh, using less wires. Well, that's enough talk here. Let's go ahead and go outside. Let's see how this solar panel performs and uh, we can compare it up against the competition. Okay guys, I'm pretty excited to get some solar testing done. I finally have a nice clear day. Um, the sun's a little low, but uh, let's go ahead and see the numbers that we're gonna get outside of these solar panels. So starting over here, we have the Rock Pals 100 watt solar panel that has four uh, panels that fold up. Um, this one is the smallest um, folding up design. The next one I have here is my All Powers 100 watt folding solar panel. Uh, this is very similar in that, but this one does not have the USB charging. It just has the output of the solar connections, the MC4 connections, but it has about the same output. The last uh, set of solar panels I have, these are my uh, two 50 watt sun power solar panels. They're flexible, uh, monocrystalline, very high efficiency. Uh, these will definitely put out the most power, um, but they're not as convenient. Um, 
They're a little harder to store, they don't fold, and they just have the MC4 connectors that come right off. So you do get more power out of these, they're more expensive, but they don't have USB charging and they don't fold up. So let's just kind of see what we get out of all three of these. Now as for the batteries I'm charging, I have a standard lead, uh, lead acid battery within here. It's a 35 amp hour battery. And then within here, I have my 80 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. Uh, both of these can use this MPPT charge controller. Um, so let's go ahead and see the results. I'm expecting they'll charge similarly. I did discharge these quite a bit so that I could get a uh, bulk charge on both of them. So let's go ahead and see the results that we're getting. Okay, so I have the rock pals hooked up. Let's go ahead and see uh, the numbers we're getting out. Okay, so on the Rock Pals 100 watt panel, we're currently pulling 83 watts. Uh, really good numbers on this. With the sun being so low in the sky and a teeny bit of haze, this is kind of what I expected. Pretty good output here. I definitely think in the full summer uh, in a clear sky, we'd get a little bit more output. So I'm not uh, discouraged by these, uh, these numbers. This is just what you get when you're trying to get a solar panel working in the winter. Okay, so I pulled out my other 100 watt panel. This is my all powers 100 watt folding solar panel. It's a little bit different uh, design. It has two larger panels instead of four small ones. Let's see what this 100 watt panel is putting out. Okay, so we're getting about 83.7. So they're definitely putting out uh, around the same power. I have one other solar panel that I can pull out and test. Uh, there are actually two portable solar panels that uh, I can go ahead and plug in here and see what they're getting out. Okay, so here's my third set of portable solar panels. These are both sun power uh, 50 watt panels each. Let's go ahead and see, uh, these are my highest efficiency panels. So these will definitely have the highest output. Let's see what they're putting out and then we can compare the other two just to see how it works. Okay, so here's the output numbers for the two sun power uh, solar panels, the 250 waters, uh, pulling 92 to 91 watts. And uh, that's pretty good output for a winter sun. Okay, so there you have it. Definitely get the most efficiency here, uh, but you also pay the most there. And then a shootout between these, which are very similar in cost, um, the Rock Palace does have the USB charging and USB uh, fast charging. So um, the other benefit is it, it is a little bit heavier, but it folds up a little bit smaller. So I kind of prefer the Rock Palace a little bit more over my All Powers. My All Powers is lighter, but it is also flimsier. You can see that it just kind of has this bow to it. Um, and if you don't support it in the middle, you're going to get a slight bow. And I don't know if that's going to damage the panels over time. So uh, you can see here that these are not bending at all. They're very rigid. Um, you're getting a nice straight line. Uh, I won't worry about that being damaged. Okay, one last thing I wanted to talk about, guys, was I had in the spec sheets of the Rock Pals uh, solar panel, it mentioned that you could not parallel. And I didn't know if that meant with each other or with any other brand of solar panel. So I just wanted to do a quick test to parallel all my solar panels together and see if the output was higher or not. So what I did first is I, I paralleled these uh, three panels because I know they are easily paralleled. Uh, there's no issues there. So I did get um, a good output there. And then what I did is I plugged in this final one in parallel with those three and I got more power on my MPPT solar charge controller. So in fact, the Rock Pals does parallel with other solar panels. I'm not sure if it just won't parallel with uh, itself like if you had another exact model of this if they wouldn't parallel together but it does seem to work fine with other solar panels well guys that's about everything that I wanted to cover in this review video overall I'm pretty happy with the quality the durability and the efficiency of this rock pals folding solar panel if you guys want to go ahead and pick this up remember you can pick it up from rock pals website and don't forget I have the $30 off discount code in the video description below so check that out if you guys have any questions or comments about this solar panel, I'd love to answer them. So just post a comment in the video and uh, I'll try to get back to you if you have a question about it. Thanks for watching the video to the end. Go ahead and smash that like button if you like the video content and uh, we'll see you in a future video. See you guys later.